Since the dawn of time, humans have used images to keep track of what's most important to them. And now whether you're keeping track of your leads or your deals, or how many buffalo you've got in the pipeline, you can visualize it all within Sightly dashboards. That's right. Now this is an advanced feature, but we will take a simple approach to setting one up. Let's check it out. All right, Tony, here we are, good old Insightly home screen, and look at that. Here's a bunch of information. Here's a bunch of stuff. We got a lot of colors, we got a lot of animation, and a lot of underlying meaning here represented by these images. Just to briefly look through, we've got a breakdown of all of our incoming leads, a leaderboard of our top 10 sales reps. You know, you can do whatever you want with this. It's a very powerful tool. A ton of flexibility. So for this example, we're going to show you how to recreate your own quarter to date leaderboard. So we'll just start by deleting this. Oh my gosh. And it's gone. All right, Tony, where do we go to recreate this leaderboard that we've just deleted? So since we're on a dashboard, let's go up to the actions menu and you'll see the create new card option. Each of these graphs on your dashboard is called a card. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is choose what kind of chart you want. But you can see there are a variety of charts here. So choose what's best for the information that you're representing. We want to show each rep individually, probably best represented by a horizontal or vertical bar chart. In this case, it'd be up to you. What do you think, Tony? I think that's the one. And before we forget, before we move on, let's go ahead and add a name, a title for this chart. Very good. Now you have to choose the information that you're going to put into the chart. Okay, so the first most important thing is we want our reps to be displayed on this chart. And we're going to search for the category that already exists as a field in Insightly, whether it's a standard or custom field. All right, very good. And as soon as we drop it in, you can see we've got every single rep represented down on the screen looking pretty good. So now we want to add values to it. Very good. Beautiful. All right, so a lot of information that we've got here, but as always, we wanna be hyper-focused on the quality of that data. So we need to make sure that we're filtering the data here by opportunities that have already closed. Opportunity state is one. There we go. All right, so assuming that the sales reps are maintaining Insightly properly, all of this data should be accurate. Now it's time to organize it, sort it, and limit it a little bit better. Where do we go next? Yeah, let's go ahead and do the sorting since we're over in that area. Let's drop that field, the value field in there, and it will ask us how we want to sort this. So let's go ahead and change that to descending so that the top salespeople are at the top. And there we go, just flips it right around, much more organized. And keep in mind, there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's all about how you want to visualize your data. Totally up to you. All right, we have a lot of time options here. We can choose the entire year, we can choose relative dates, which will stay updated as time passes, but we want to look at quarter to date. And you'll typically want to choose an option like this so that your dashboards are constantly updated every time you look at them. Exactly. All right, so now we've got accurate data. Everybody can keep track of where they are in the scheme of things, how they're contributing to the team. But there's one more thing we want to change about this chart. It's still a long list there. It's a long list. Let's limit this to only the top, what do you say, five, 10? Sure. Yeah, let's go ahead back to that left side there where we have limit rows, and let's put 10. There we, there go. we go. All right, and this will dynamically update too when it's on the dashboard. If somebody cracks into the top 10, that data will be updated, and this top 10 list will change. All right, we're very close to done here. The last thing I'd like to do is remove this sum at the top. It is adding together the total bookings of all 10 of these reps, but this isn't really valuable to us as an overall team performance metric because it only focuses on the top 10. So because it's not a useful number, I'd like to just remove it altogether. And just like that, it's gone. All right, let's go ahead and save our leaderboard. There it is. There it is. Great job, Tony. This is a masterpiece. Beautiful. Now, we can also move that around if we don't want that to be up in front. Move your cards around. We can resize it if we want to make it smaller, but leaderboard is, in my opinion, the most important dashboard card you could possibly have, sharing it with the team, so we're gonna keep it nice and big. I'm not a competitive person, so not so much for me. Fair enough. <laughs> all right, last but not least, if you're like me, you wanna look at this dashboard all the time, see how the organization is doing, check out your metrics, your KPIs, therefore, put it on the home screen. Now, instead of recent activity, you can choose to view your dashboard. There you go. Every time you log in, there it is. 
That's right. A customizable homepage for Insightly CRM. Beautiful thing. All right. That's an intro to Insightly Dashboards. Now it's time for you to start on your own masterpiece. Check out these articles if you need more help.